Number 4. The Jerry Springer Show On July 24, 2000, The Jerry Springer Show aired an episode called Secret Mistresses Confronted. Like many other episodes of Jerry, this one featured a love triangle. The three points of this triangle were Ralph Pints, his wife Eleanor Pints, and his ex-wife Nancy Campbell, who all lived in Sarasota, Florida. Over the course of several months leading up to the show, Ralph would bounce back between Eleanor and Nancy. Sometimes he would break up with one and then move in with the other just hours later. On the show, which was recorded months earlier in May, Ralph and Eleanor told Nancy to stop stalking them. The crowd cheered when Nancy was called fat and old by Ralph and Eleanor. However, the reality of the matter was that Ralph had a violent temper and he and Eleanor were living in the home where Nancy paid the bills. On the day that the episode aired, Nancy went to the courthouse to get an order to remove Ralph and Eleanor from her home. In court, Nancy said that Ralph was violent and chased her with a knife. However, Ralph denies this claim. Nevertheless, Nancy was granted the order. As Ralph and Eleanor were moving some of their belongings out of the house, Ralph got Nancy alone and he attacked her. He beat her face in so badly that she was unrecognizable. Ralph and Eleanor fled, but Ralph turned himself in a short time later. He was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. In 2002, one of Nancy's sons sued the Jerry Springer Show, but the lawsuit was dropped a year later. In 2016, the Jerry Springer Show wrapped up their 25th season. Number 3. The People's Court on November 17, 2011, The People's Court aired an episode featuring 33-year-old Michelle Parker and her ex-fiancé Dale Smith. On the show, Smith was suing Parker over a $5,000 engagement ring that was lost during a fight where Parker threw the ring at Smith. During the trial, Michelle Parker said that Smith had been violent in the past and he had a problem with drugs and alcohol. In the end, the judge said that they should split the cost of the ring. Just hours after the episode aired for the first time, Parker went to Smith's house where she dropped off their children, and that was the last time Parker was ever seen. A day after the mother of two disappeared, her Hummer was found abandoned at a mall. Police also discovered that her Hummer was recorded on a security camera at a red light at about 8.55pm, not far from the mall. Unfortunately, it's impossible to tell who was driving the vehicle. A few days after the Hummer was found, Parker's cell phone was found under a bridge near a swamp, but there was no trace of Parker and her whereabouts are a mystery. Dale Smith, who was the last one to see Parker, is the one and only suspect in her disappearance, but he has never been charged. However, Parker's family is suing him for her wrongful death and the case is currently in litigation. Number 2. The Jenny Jones Show on March 6, 1995, Jonathan Schmitz of Michigan was a guest on The Jenny Jones Show. Schmitz was lured to the show because he was told by the show's producer that he had a secret crush. What Schmitz didn't know at the time was that the show was called Same Sex Secret Crushes. In the episode that was never aired, an unsuspecting Schmitz walks out on the stage to find his friend Donna and her friend, Scott Amateur, a 32-year-old unemployed openly gay man. Schmitz was clearly embarrassed but played it cool on the show. He even kept his calm when he heard Amateur talk about a fancy involving him, whipped cream, strawberries, and champagne. Schmitz said he was flattered, but he was heterosexual. While Schmitz appeared to handle the news well on the show, the situation ate away at him. Three days later, Schmitz and Amateur were back in Michigan, and Amateur left a suggestive note at Schmitz's house. Schmitz found the note and became enraged. He bought a shotgun, went over to Amateur's house, and shot him twice in the chest. Schmitz then called 911 and admitted to the murder and blamed the show for humiliating him. In 1996, Schmitz was convicted and sentenced to 25 to 50 years in prison. Amateur's family filed a lawsuit against the Jenny Jones show and they won $25 million. Number 1. Megan Wants a Millionaire Megan Wants a Millionaire was a bachelorette type reality show that could have easily been forgotten about had it not been connected to a brutal murder. The premise of the show was that Megan Heserman, a contestant on two other reality dating shows, was trying to find a husband out of 17 wealthy bachelors. One of the contestants was Ryan Jenkins, a Canadian real estate developer. What the producers of the show didn't know was that Jenkins had a criminal record for violence against women. In the end, Jenkins didn't win. Instead, he came in third. In March 2009, after Jenkins had finished shooting the show, he was in Las Vegas where he met model Jasmine Fiore. There was an instant spark between the two, and they were married two days later. On August 2nd, 2009, the first episode of Megan Wants to Be a Millionaire aired. 
By that point, Fiore's and Jenkins' marriage had already become turbulent because Jenkins' penchant for violence had emerged. They had already split up for a few weeks, but had gone back together by the time the show aired. Going back to Jenkins was a tragic mistake for the bikini model. On August 15th, her dismembered body was found inside a suitcase in a dumpster in Los Angeles. Her teeth and fingers had been removed to hide her identity. Her body was identified three days later using the serial numbers in her breast implants. Meanwhile, Jenkins was missing, but he was wanted for the murder. He stayed on the lam for eight days before he committed suicide in a motel room in Hope, British Columbia, Canada. VH1 suspended Megan once a millionaire the day after Fiore's body was identified, and it was cancelled three days later, after only airing three episodes.